Welcome to the Daily Athenaeum Studios. I'm John Terry, joined alongside by Michael Carvelli, and we're here to preview tonight's West Virginia women's basketball game against number two UConn. This is the date that has been circled on everyone's calendar uh, since the schedule was released. Uh, people thought it may be a, a top ten matchup, but uh, some falters as of late from West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia's dropped back to 17th. Of course, they're coming off a, a devastating seven-point loss to Pittsburgh last Saturday. Yeah, and anytime you lose a game at home, especially for the Mountaineers who, who had won 31 straight at the Coliseum, you need to do whatever it takes to put it behind you and refocus as quickly as possible. And a game against a team like UConn could be a perfect opportunity to West, for West Virginia to do that. And uh, Mike Carey spoke on Monday a little bit about the UConn game, joked that it's really never a good time to play UConn, but uh, his team will have to figure out a way to bounce back uh, and play the Huskies tonight. You know, I thought against Pitt, too, I mean, I thought we were ready. I really did. I thought we had a lot of enthusiasm. We come out, we were hyped up, we were ready. Couldn't score the ball. We just couldn't score the ball. And uh, and when you don't score the ball, it kind of affects you defensively. It kind of affects everything. And uh, in the second half, I thought we got it going a little bit, started scoring the ball a little bit, got excited. And then with four minutes, you know, we went up four with two-something to go. Could not believe the mistakes we made offensively and defensively. It was very disappointing to me. If West Virginia does find a way to bounce back, it'll be the first time since 1982 that the Mountaineers will be victorious over Connecticut. 1982 is the first and the only time West Virginia has ever defeated Connecticut. Uh, they've lost 22 straight times since, uh, with an average margin of defeat of just over 29 points. They even lost by 72 points uh, at home against Connecticut in 2000. So if, if things will change, uh, what are some players uh, to watch out for on this Connecticut team? For me, the two to focus on on Tuesday night are going to be Bria Hartley and Maya Moore. Uh, Hartley's only a freshman, but she's averaging 13 points a game and has won the Big East Rookie of the Week five times already this year. And obviously everybody knows about Maya Moore, averaging uh, 24.5 points a game, eight rebounds, best player in the country. She'll obviously get the Mountaineers a handful. Yeah, Mike Carey said uh, Monday that Maya Moore is the best player he has ever seen Connecticut have uh, since he's been at West Virginia. Uh, why don't we listen to what he had to say? Well, she can play several positions. You know what I mean? She, she can go down and post you. She can shoot the three. She can jump up by the rim. You can lob to her. She doesn't bring it down. She just catches it and lays it in. Uh, she plays great defense. She gets a lot of steals. And, and, and she will, she gives up the ball. I mean, when other people are open. So, you know, there's no doubt. Since I've been here, I've seen a lot of great players in Connecticut, but there's no doubt. I truly believe she's the best I've seen Connecticut have since I've been here at West Virginia. Obviously, the biggest key for the Mountaineers will be will be trying to find a way to contain Maya Moore. But other than that, uh, what, what's maybe a key to the game for you for the Mountaineers to be successful? For me, recently, the Mountaineers have been struggling a lot in the first half, and that's cost them a few games. And against a team like Connecticut, you don't want to get into too big of a hole early on because they're going to make you pay for it because they're dangerous at all five spots in the lineup. And so they're going to have to hit shots early, play play good basketball for the most part like they were in non-conference play if they want to have success. I think a key for me will, will be getting uh, the core group of Connecticut into foul trouble. They really only play six players. Uh, six players average uh, a little over 25 minutes. So they can get those six players into foul trouble. Uh, it will force Gina Oriema to go to the bench, and uh, I think then all gloves are off. But if they allow uh, the, the, the Connecticut's main six players uh, to stay in the game, it uh, could be a, a very, very long night for uh, Mike Carey and his squad. Uh, so uh, tip-off tonight uh, will be at 7 o'clock at the WVU Coliseum. If you can't get to the game, uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Daily Athenaeum, and be sure to uh, check Wednesday's edition of our newspaper for a recap and sidebar.